Hello everyone, Crowner here, and today we have something I've been waiting a long time for. Real, meaningful competition in the frame generation space. With patch 2.3, CD Projekt Red has officially integrated AMD's new FSR 3.1 frame generation into Cyberpunk 2077. And I have to say, I am genuinely delighted. We're testing this today on a maximally overclocked RTX 5070, and we're gonna compare it directly against NVIDIA's own DLSS 4 frame generation. And here is my promise to you. If you want more honest, head-to-head -head tech comparisons that show you the real-world difference between technologies, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment. It's the best way to support the channel. So let's get right to it. The good news? The FPS numbers from FSR 3.1 are wild. In some situations, I was getting a few percent more frames than with DLSS 4, which is incredible. But, and you knew there would be a but, there are trade-offs. The image quality is substantially worse than what you get with DLSS. It's a bit softer and you can see more artifacts in motion. And the input lag, you can feel it. It's not horrible, but it's definitely there. The amazing thing about FSR though, is its accessibility. The fact that this technology is available on all graphics cards is a massive win. It even works wonders on hardware like the laptop RTX 3060 we tested in our last video, which is fantastic news for everyone. So what's the final verdict? Look, we all knew coming into this that FSR would be worse than DLSS in pure quality. That was expected. But what's so great, what's so exciting, is that it's now a built-in plug-and-play feature in the game. No more messing around with mods. AMD is in the ring, they're throwing punches, and for gamers, more competition is always a good thing. Now, let's see just how big those trade-offs really are.
Captain Watson. Roger, dispatch. What else is new? We'll be right there. 